Hey guys, so today I will be doing a updated afro routine and a frequently asked questions type of video. Um, I always get people who ask me questions about my hair um, in person as well as online about how I get it like this, um, products I use, stuff like that. Um, and this video is just going to be kind of addressing those questions as well as I'm um, telling you guys my routine. So I start out with freshly washed hair, you know, for my routine. I start out with freshly washed hair sometimes, sometimes I don't, it doesn't matter. Um, if I start out with freshly washed hair, I'll let my hair air dry in some type of twist or something. That way I don't have to deal with like my hair being, you know, <laughs> really, really shrunken down to my scalp and not being able to deal with it. So. Um, I usually start out on freshly washed hair, but occasionally throughout the week I'll decide I want to change my hairstyle and I'll start out on dry hair. Um, and what I do is basically I moisturize and seal my hair and I detangle it, um, probably using a pick because I find that this works a little better than a comb. But I'll use a pick to detangle my hair and then I'll put it in like a like extremely chunky twist and I'll go to sleep and all my hair dry or whatever. So what I use to moisturize and seal, what I've been using lately, um, when I wear my afros is just water. This says Lissy Organics Olive Oil Detangling Spray. I used all of the stuff that was in this bottle. It was okay. Um, I felt like I had to mix it with water, so I'm not going to be buying this one again, but I'm going to keep the bottle. So um, this is just water. It had a little moisturizer and oil in there, but um, I've refilled it with water, so it's like 99% water now. So I'm pretty sure that probably didn't make a difference, but basically water and grease. Yes, grease. This is the Softy Mango Butter. Um, I also have a Coke, oh, not a coconut oil one, a castor oil one. And I like this one a little better, first of all, because of the smell. This one really does smell like mango, and it really does leave your hair smelling like mango. Like yesterday, um, I could really smell it all in my hair. I don't know if anybody else could smell it, but I felt like I could smell it. But yeah, it, it really smells nice. Um, and this is basically like petroleum and some other ingredients mixed together in a jar. Water and grease, um, it has worked pretty well for me. And since it's getting colder, I need to really, really start using heavier products to keep moisture in my hair. So I think that the grease and the water is probably a good idea. But as it gets further and further and further into the winter time, I'll probably use water, a moisturizer, and grease. But yeah. Nonetheless, um, those two products have been working for me. And right now my hair is really, really soft and stuff. So I think I will continue to use the water and grease combination. So um, after I twist my hair up in the morning, what I do is I take my pick and I, you know, pick it out some. That way I can get the texture from the twist to come out of there. So I um, pick it out and then I go to shaping it up. And to shape it up, I just use water in a spray bottle very, very sparingly because I just wet my hair yesterday. I'm not trying to continually wet it, but I use this just to shrink up certain parts like the back. I like to be... Um, really shrunk in so I like the back of my hair to be um, shorter than the top and sometimes it doesn't always pick out that way so I have to use water and I just use water to really shape it up and get it into the shape that I want it and that is basically it and then throughout the week I usually don't repick my hair out at night I do not rebraid my hair I don't twist my hair I don't braid it I don't do any of that I just put it in a ponytail and then in the morning the um the ribbon that I use for the ponytail leaves like a dent in my hair so I just take my pick and I go like this and get it out and then if there's any parts in the back that may look a little flat or something I'll go ahead and I'll like kind of pull those out or pick them out or whatever and that's basically how I shape up my afro that's that's it I don't do anything crazy um my maintenance throughout the week like I said is pretty easy I usually don't go in with any more water or anything because I usually don't have to my hair usually comes out pretty nice um when I take it out of the ponytail and I do not really pick it out throughout the week either. Like I won't re-pick it out or anything. Um, I just try to keep it detangled the best that I can with my hands, but I usually won't take a pick through my hair because I wouldn't want to do that on dry hair, so I would have to wet my hair again, and I just don't want to have to do that. So um, that is my finished hair routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that I addressed everybody's questions. Um, another question I get a lot is how long did it take for your hair to grow that much? Um, I'd say about two years with trims, meaning that um, in the trim I take off like half an inch or an inch of hair that had um, single strand knots or something, but um, I haven't done one of those in like, I don't know, it's been a while. But I probably have done that about four times maybe, about four, um, throughout the um, length of my journey since like 
two years ago. And additionally, another thing I want to say is that I don't know when I made that video. It was probably in like April or something. I did the second big chop. So I'd say it's probably been only like a year and a half since my second big chop with the four trims in between. So um, I will not be trimming my hair because of single strand knots anymore because they come back all the time because of the way that I wear my hair. So I've decided that I am not going to trim my hair because of single strand knots any longer. So anyways, um, that is basically my hair routine compressed down. Um, if you want to know what products I use to wash my hair, I have plenty of videos of different products that I show on my channel. The products always change. I never stick with one particular shampoo or conditioner. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any other questions that I did not address in the video, don't forget to leave them down below. Bye guys!